Hi. I just wanted a few words on um, when we affirm or when we visualize <clears throat> or do any of these things. We are feeding our subconscious with what we want to happen in the 3D. Now, everything you're thinking about constantly, dwelling on, commenting on, complaining about, is basically an affirmation. So anyone who out there who says that affirmations don't work, they do. Because almost everything you do is an affirmation. When you're thinking about something, when you're actually affirming, when you're telling yourself something, these mental conversations, they're all just, they break down into affirmations. So if you, you know, you, you could be telling yourself great things through the day all day long, but if, let's face it, you're not going to be consciously affirming 24 seven, right? So in all those other times that you're not doing that, what are you doing? See, this is where it comes down to having discipline and trying not to get triggered and go the downward spiral and to complain about things that you see is not going right in your 3D. And everybody does it, you know? I mean, I do it too. I'm getting better at it, but it's a process, right? It's a process. And the whole point here is that if during those other times you're you're basically affirming the other way by complaining, by thinking negatively, right? You're, you're undoing all the good that you do when you are consciously affirming or visualizing or whatever for the good. You're, you, when, you, when you're doing all that stuff for the good, that's great. But if in all the other times, which may actually outnumber the times that you're consciously, you know, trying to make good happen in your 3D or what you judge is good, those times... Those unconscious times when you're just, you know, you're walking along and, you know, the old man creeps in, right? The old situation and you complain, oh, my life is this and this is that. And how am I going to do that? Or I can't afford that. People are so accustomed. I mean, that stuff just comes in like second nature. And it's it, it takes it may take some time to undo that. You know, not everybody is. I mean, there are some people. There are people I've met who are just, I, I, I've i always envied them. They're the ones who are like always happy, always cheerful. I was never like that, okay? I was always the cynical, glass half empty, sarcastic, uh, meh, whatever type, right? The logical type who would who would think of every possible way something could go wrong. And when you've done that for a long time, it's even harder to undo it, to, 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 to become the opposite of that. Right. So, so many people do that and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll say, you know, I, I affirm that I visualize and everything and my, my, my manifestation never happened. This doesn't work. This is a load of bull, whatever. Well, what are you doing all those other times when you're not consciously trying to manifest something, right? You, you could really be undoing all of your progress. So that's why this whole idea of mental diet, of, of, of stopping the negative thoughts. Neville Goddard talks about this constantly, about mental diet, discipline, keeping the faith, pruning the, uh, the negative out, right? Pruning the wild stuff that's in there so that you focus on, you know, what you want to happen. So this is stuff that needs to be repeated over and over and over again, because a lot of people don't realize what they're really doing. They just don't realize that they're, I'm affirming, I'm affirming. Well, how, how much are you affirming? How much are you visualizing? Are you visualizing every minute of the day? Of course you're not, because you have a regular things you have to respond to. Watch how you respond to that stuff. You know, you get an unexpected bill in the mail or something like that. Yeah, you have to deal with it, right? But don't make it a downward spiral. Don't become all upset. It takes some discipline. It takes practice. It, it, it may take you practice. You know, to say, oh, that's nothing. That's the 3D. I will just deal with that calmly and I will move on. 
isn't my life wonderful? Doesn't every, everything always works out for me? Everything always works out in my favor. You know, as, as Neville Goddard would say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that, that everything works out for me. Thank you that everything is wonderful. Isn't it wonderful that I'm whatever, you know, insert whatever you want, whatever you want to be, whatever you envision for yourself, the person you want to be. So, you know, if the bill comes in the mail and you, you whatever, how are we going to pay for this? So what's going on here? How come, you know, you're, then you're, you're just reinforcing the old story. That old man comes in and you just, you latch on to him because that's what you're used to. That's where you have to really discipline yourself and be conscious of your thoughts. That's where mental diet comes in. This whole idea of mental diet. I'm trying to, you know, really hit it home so that you understand this isn't just a once in a while thing. It's, it's kind of like a new lifestyle, right? And eventually, as things shift for you, it'll become more and more natural and easier. But in the beginning and during a transition, there may be some rough patches that you just have to discipline yourself through. And, and don't reiterate that old story. And Neville Goddard tells us this all the time. Joseph Murphy tells us this all the time. Abdullah told them that all the time. So I hope that this is useful for people out there to realize, you know, analyze, well, what am I really doing here? What am I, if things aren't going the way I want, what, what, what am I, what am I doing wrong? I bet you, you know, as Neville Goddard said in one of his lectures, he said, you know, you, you may actually be arguing with your boss, et cetera, et cetera, in your head, you know, do the opposite. So anyway, I hope this is useful. Thank you. See you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.